We're back for episode three of how to show groom your chihuahua. Just so you know, a lot of the techniques covered can be used on other smooth coated breeds as well, not just chihuahuas. So pull out those smooth coat brushes and other items from the loot you purchased from episode one, and let's go groom a smooth coat chihuahua. We got more groom and action coming your way, so be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode. Lana's subject for this episode is Blondie, probably one of the sweetest dogs you will ever meet. And while there's not as much grooming on a smooth coat as there is on a long coat, there is still a lot of work to be done. They are not a wash and go kind of dog. In true Lana style, she always starts with the feet. So pull out that Dremel and get those nails as short as you possibly can. Watch how she tap, tap, taps on those nails until she gets as close to the quick as she can. And this is extremely important, not just for your show dogs, but for your couch dogs as well. Again, as close to the quick as possible, nice and tight. That way their feet don't splay. They have good grip on the bottom of their feet. It's for a lot of reasons other than show, but health reasons as well. Now it's time to pull out your wall trimmer to clean out between each of the pads. The hair on a smooth usually is not as long as a long coat, but it does grow in between the pads. So to make sure they have the best traction possible, clean them out if you are showing them or not. And yes, do this to your couch dogs too. Back when I first started showing and grooming my dogs, I used to hold my dogs in my arms vertically and then do each foot individually, holding the dog and the foot in one hand and the Dremel in the other, struggling with each and every toe. I learned from Lana to lay them on their back in my lap. It puts them in a submissive position and honestly, even my most unruly dogs seem to calm down rather quickly and allow me to get the job done. So I suggest you give it a try. All right. After we're done with that, I'm gonna put them on the table. I'm gonna put them on a lead. She then goes around the outside edge of each foot with her straight shears, getting as close as possible, helping to create that very tight and neat looking foot. We're not gonna trim the top of the foot. There really isn't any hair on a smooth coat to trim that way. At this point, I definitely need to remind you to go back and watch episode two, because for each of the long coat and smooth coat varieties, she shares different techniques, but they can be intertwined and used on either variety. For the smooth coat chihuahua, it's really important to look at the outline and the top line, see if there's any hair that needs to be trimmed. All of you that were excited about getting that Mars stripping tool, yes, I read all of the comments and emails. There's like a rough of hair right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of that out. Guess what? You get to use it on your smooth coat too. Go dig it out. My handy dandy stripper. <laughs> and just like in episode two with the long coat, rake it over that spot and go in multiple directions because that's going to pull out the undercoat and smooth everything out beautifully. Some people clean up a little bit of their rough. By the breed standard, they're supposed to have a rough, so I don't. I don't clean anything around the neck. If they have a, a pinch of hair sticking out, because they are smooth, so you want to be able to see their outline, I'll just nip it off just like that so that it goes straight smooth. You also want to clean up the underbelly just a little bit so you can see her girly figure. And don't forget to get that little notch where the hind leg attaches. I do a lot of my trimming on a smooth coat chihuahua with this right here because they don't have a lot of coat. So I can get a little bit more precise. Honestly, you don't have to do much. Just clean it up a little bit. See how that enhances the rear and it shows her rib cage. Probably the biggest challenge to a smooth coat it's the rear. When the hair on the rear grows out, unfortunately, it adds unnecessary length to your dog. And of course, it hides a pretty rear. The main trimming that I do on a smooth coat chihuahua is back here. She starts with her wall trimmer right at the butt, trimming up and cleaning at the base of the tail. Just like with a long coat, she uses her thinning shears to blend any of the hairs that have a distinct cut line from the trimmers. Yes, you can totally do this with your thinning shears, but with some practice, she prefers to sculpt it out with her trimmer. You might want to pull out some non-show dogs to try this technique on for the first or even second go round. And she says it definitely helps to keep them steady. 
All you're doing is taking that extra hair that grows over by following the natural line. You can actually create angles, but Blondie already has them, so this will definitely help show them off. Comparing the two sides, you can definitely see the results instantly. Once you've gone over it with your trimmer, you can then take your thinning shears and make the lines look much more natural. Love these. They do not make a line. This doesn't matter if you make a bad cut or not. They totally make it blended. With both sides done, you can definitely see the outline and it looks quite amazing. Again, Blondie has an awesome rear, but cleaning it up allows it to really be showcased. As I have noticed, the people have started balding the tails like rounding the chihuahua tail or nipping it off so that it's like flat or round at the top. I don't know why you guys are doing that. It doesn't look good. It's not the way it's supposed to be. If there's some hair sticking up off the tail, I will gently take just the top of that off. But it should still be a point. It should not be round. It should not be bald. It should not be flat. From there, we go on to the face. Trim off all those whiskers, and don't forget those that are under the chin like the rest of us 40 plus year old women have. Don't even deny that they're there, girls. We all know they are. Okay, now remember what I said about the ears on the long coat? Do not shave them out. Well, that's the totally opposite for smooth coats. You are allowed to shave out your smooth coat chihuahua's ears, because there are smooth coats. Right now, she has extra hair covering up her big, beautiful ears. It's not enough to trim with a thinning shear. I'm just going to go in and shave it out. I'm going to go right around that little spot like I told you with the long, and I'm just going to kind of go up and get that extra hair out. Again, the difference is seen instantly. And yeah, getting it to match perfectly is just as impossible as with a long coat, but you can get it to pass a little easier on these guys. Just like on the rear, use your thinning shears to make the cuts look a little bit more natural. This definitely helps accentuate that round apple head. Once you are done with all that trimming and cutting and blending, use the purple ionic brush to get out any dirt. This is the brush you use in between shows because it's your work brush. The Chris Christensen Ionic Brass Bore Brush is your finishing brush. That's what she brings to the show with her and uses ringside just before she goes in and it helps bring out the natural shine in the coat. But of course, before that, it's time to bathe them. And just as with the long coat, she uses the Blanc to whiten that coat and get it nice and clean by using it fully concentrated. Don't forget to add a little bit of Dawn dishwashing soap for that extra clean. Let it sit for a few minutes, then rinse it out and follow it with the hydrating shampoo. And I towel dry them and I use the same protein leave-in conditioner on the smooth coats as I do for the longs. Just a dab will do you. A very little bit will go a very long way. Instead of allowing them to partially dry like the long coats, she lets them completely air dry. Lana says Air Force drying them really doesn't change much, so why waste all that time? God only knows when it comes to showing dogs, we could always use a time saver, right? So, um, you are very welcome. And of course, Miss Allie says, why couldn't I be a smooth coat? That is all <laughs> I do for a smooth coat chihuahua. So don't forget, all of the items that we use in this episode are linked below, and feel free to re-watch all three episodes over and over again because each time you watch it, you'll quite possibly pick up something new. Truth be told, we did end up using the Air Force dryer on Blondie, but it was for a really awesome reason. You see, we decided to not stop here. I feel quick and simple techniques warrant their own special quick and simple video. Lana wanted to share how she does a basic chalking, but of course the dog has to be completely dried, hence the Air Force. So watch for that in the next couple weeks. But we didn't stop there. Lana also performed her infamous burrito trick. I've seen it in action many a time and tried it on my own dogs. It's a surefire way to get those nails done on a dog that is not too happy about it. She gets so many requests for how to perform this technique that I've decided to give it its own video so everyone will know how to find it. Until then, happy grooming!